I do when I'm broken? When I'm broken, I relish it. That's what we do. I'm gonna keep it. Because if I'm broken, then I just found my limitations. And until I know what my limitations are, how can I push them? Once I feel it, once I see where I was broken, then I can attack that weakness. I can fill in that gap. I can reinforce that breach. If you break, it means it's time to fortify your will to make it stronger. Crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place. Covered. And you're covered in blood and sweat and dirt and filth as you rise above what you were. And as you take the form of, of who you are supposed to be. You will see... In the very act of standing up, in the very act of fighting on, you will become and you will remain. Fuck! Unbroken. Alright, that's 250 for a double. I think that's like matching a PB from a long time ago. I don't know if I reported 260 last time, but. Pretty much, that is like fucking me going all out and you know, primed for months on end, trying to get the best squad. You haven't seen me try to hit max deadlifts because I've been just focusing on trying to squat fucking heavy, right? And a lot of my, I guess, biomechanics aren't adjusted or optimized for squatting. I've got like long long thighs or long femurs and short torso so I fold over a lot I even tore the inside of my leg the adductor and my goal in my mind I want like fucking seven plates so 300 kilos it's you know they're pretty arduous conditions where like I've pretty much fucked myself up multiple times trying to lift heavy and Figuring it out is, it's, I guess, a battle with, are you eating enough, are you fucking actually lifting heavy enough, and sometimes straying off program to go heavier than next, last time, sorry. But, um, I guess it's just up to you. And we're all sort of, you know, given the devices we have in life, and just born with what we have and it's what you make out of it, right? If you're gonna use it as an excuse or did you have the same tools, the same hours in the day, same, you know, amount of limbs as the other person to achieve what you need to. And that's going on to what um, myself and Michael are going to be doing over the next, well, foreseeable future. We're potentially uh, pivoting Barbell Crew into a more mainstream brand and um, the motto of Barbell Crew has always been um, born equal, made superior. And it was on the wrist, wristband originally uh, when I made the, the brand uh, for the original members. And the brand's going to be called Born Equal. So 
we're all given, you know, the same slate at the start where we don't have any progress whatsoever and you make yourself superior than you were yesterday by putting in the work. Right? It doesn't matter if motherfuckers my weight and can squat 340 kilos. It's what I make out of my own personal situation. You know, I tore my leg so I'm gonna put wraps on and try to fucking do that well. Right? Because I have a goal in my mind and I'm gonna work towards it despite you know potentially never reaching it. You can only battle what you've come up with the last session. Yeah? So yeah, born equal. Have a keep an eye out for that and uh, we'll be dropping a really really legitimate collection um, in the near near future. Um, me and Berg have been working on a golf brand called Hazard Hunters for the past two years and you know we've amassed over 10,000 um, or actually collectively 70,000 people who um, support our brand and we're, we're actually working with the factories, same factories as Ralph Lauren Blue and you know, we aspire to you know continue to create quality apparel um, in this you know fast moving, fast fashion market, and intending to do the same with gym clothing as well. So keep an eye out. That's it for today. Um, hopefully, hit you know 270, 280 next heavy session, maybe in a week or so. And in between, I'm going to do like a filler session of like 220 for speed reps, uh, maybe three sets of, a sing of singles, and yeah. Rest of the session, probably go do some accessories and sort my shit out because that was tough. Peace.